All right, ladies and gentlemen, the YouTube citizens, y'all know who this is. This is your boy, True Inferno, and today's day is Friday, November the 2nd, meaning yesterday was the first of the month. Y'all know me, man. I had to put that in there. But anywho, <laughs> so since how it is now November, that means the Halloween event is over. Oh, no! And who was in the... Phil Weasel's box? I, put, I forgot what it was, but that blue Pokemon that not a lot of people care about, he's gone too. So now in his place is Sedinja. So Sedinja is now the reward for completing feature researches seven days in a row. And some people got this today or yesterday, or so they hope, but instead they got Moltres. So yeah, there's a little bug, a little slip up on Niantic's part. So if you wait until 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and then open your reward, you got Moltres for like, and this was going on for like the first, I think 30 minutes to an hour, something along those lines. So you have to rate it out for a few minutes. And then they actually put it in Sedinja. So Sedinja is in the game. I got mines already. So I waited about like two or three hours before I opened mines. And I got Sedinja. So that's what's up. But that's not the only thing that's going on right now. The Safari Zone event out in Taiwan is going on right now. As far as I know, only DX1 is out there. I believe Pierre is out there as well. So I don't know who else is out there in terms of content creators. But so far, those two are the only two that I'm aware of that are out there as we speak. So, what that means is this. Shiny Pinsa's in the game. So, Pinsa's are actually spawning around quite a bit more often. So, all you gotta do is go out to the spot where there's a bunch of Pokemon and go get yourself a Pinsa, Shiny Pinsa. So, hopefully, that would be the case for me at YumaCon because I would be there Friday, which is yesterday, the time you're watching this video, and today, the time you are watching this video. So, yeah, there you go with that. Speaking of today, the day you're watching this video, Gengar Day will be going on the time you're watching this video, or actually, do I want to say the time you're watching this video? Yeah, I'm going to say the time you're watching this video. The time you're watching this video, Gengar Day will be live. So, yeah, you want to take part in that, knock yourself out, because Gengar will know Psyche as a charge move, but it would know Lick as a quick attack so and lick is pretty good lick is pretty pretty good and also you can involve your gas leads and hunters all the way up to gengar and they were no psychic and lick now you can't use tms on your gengars already so the tm thing will not work and of course the shiny gengar is out there which not a lot of people are really impressed with so yeah that's what's going on today by the time this video drops now let's get on to what else is going on in today's game as well because a lot of stuff came out this past Thursday, which was yesterday, on this time that is. Now, here's the RD rewards. Normally I don't mess with the rewards, but in this case I have to because there's a few things you gotta keep your eyes on. So, if you catch five bug type Pokemon, you get another Gen 4 Pokemon, and this one is called Nakata. So yeah, you're gonna get that bad boy right there. Maximum CP is two. 89, okay. <laughs> kind of low if you ask me a little bit, but whatever. Now, another one you want to pay attention to is the Pineco one, where you win a raid, you get a Pineco. Remember, shiny Pinecos are in the game. Your boy got two of them, and I evolved one of them already. Also, here's the new shiny that was added on November 1st, and that's Caterpie. So, all you got to do is evolve two Pidgeys, and you can get a Caterpie, and it could potentially be shinies. Me, personally, I would just rather drive around and look for Caterpie, because they were popping up in Bizrail as was this guy, Pinsir. So you gotta catch five normal type Pokemon and you'll be rewarded with a Pinsir and again, it could be shiny. Now they added a brand new spender form in the game, the spender number seven. So you gotta make three nice curve ball throws in a row, well, not in a row, but three nice curve ball throws, period. Not in a row, but just period. And we get more on that later. So, and then we got the last three which are like, uh, you know, make five great throws in a row for a Wrigley. Who, who would do that for a Wrigley Tough? I don't, unless you're new or you're just coming back to the game, you need a Wrigley Tough real quick. I mean, there you go, but who would do that? Also, Under Kenny walking with your buddy would get you a Clefable, and five, 75 gifts would get you a Gold Bat. So those last three quests are like, eh? But everything else is good. Me personally, I would go for the whole catch five bug type Pokemon for the Nakata. I would go for the Caterpie one, I guess. And I'll go for the Pinsir one without question. I don't need the Pinko one, but if I want to cross it, yeah, I'll take part in that too. But 
yeah, in regards to this, the other one, the spender, let's go to that right now because I actually got that one Thursday and I completed it. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go, I forgot which one it was. It was the third one actually. So this one should give me spender number seven and survey says. And here's another thing, and this is a good segment, or this is a good way to get into the next segment. There's this book, oh, there it is. Okay, there it is. But no, real talk, there was this book where if you were to claim your Sedinja, you, you, you would get a right screen or a gray screen. And that happened to me three times earlier Thursday. So in case you're getting that, here's what I recommend you do. One, you force, you know, you go to your settings and you find the Pokemon Go in settings. You're not opening up the app, you just go to like the behind the scenes of the app or whatever, looking at the data and the storage and memory and all that stuff. You want to force stop the app. That's the first thing. Then you want to clear the caches. After that, you open the game back up and you should be fine. That's what I did and I was good with that. If that don't work, then do those two steps again and this time clear the data. And unfortunately, when you clear the data, you got to go through the whole login process. You got to sync it up with your Facebook again, I think and things of that nature. So once you do all that, and you may have to uninstall and then reinstall the game, hopefully it don't come to that, but I will use that as a final resort. So, but clear the, force stop the game, and then clear the cache, you should be fine. So here it is, spin the form number seven, I need you to stay in the middle, thank you. 447 C, 447 CP, and we're gonna use a great ball, I got a lot of great balls. And I will tell you how I got a lot of great balls, because there's another new feature that was added in the game Thursday, November the 1st. Again, the plus of the month. But yeah, here we go. We got the spender. All right, so we got spender form number seven, and that's my five-day streak right there. I should have put a lucky egg on. It got crappy IVs. I need a matter of fact, let, let's put these numbers on it so I can see which ones I actually got, like which forms I got. So this is spender seven. And we're gonna click OK on that. All right, so how'd I get so many great balls? Well, there's a new feature that's in the game right now. As far as I know, you have to be level 35 and higher to experience this, and that's this. The Adventure Sync is in the game. So I was rewarded for walking 25 kilometers, and I got a bunch of items. I got a bunch of great balls, some regular Pokeballs. I believe I got, oh yeah, I got a rare candy, that's what it was. And I was just giving a crap ton of stuff. It was crazy. So, yeah, and just keep a tab on my edge right there. So, it's pretty cool. So, I could just, like, really put the game on aisle and then just walk around with it. And it still keep track of what I'm doing. Still give me stuff. Still um, couch toys hatching my eggs. It is really, really cool. You have to sync it up with a Google account, though, in order to use it. So, that's what I did here. Now, there's one more bit of business that I need to take care of. Then I'm going to call this video a wrap. So the first thing I want to do is put on a lucky egg. And then what I'm going to do is go to my friends. And there's two individuals that I'm looking for. Let's see. So there's my best friend so far. Oh, here it is right here. So shout out to Andy, a.k.a. Can Dropper. Because we are now best friends in the game as soon as this loads. There we go. So we are going to open this gift. And we're going to skip the animation. And then we're going to scroll down. I posted to do this Thursday, but I forgot. And I was like so tired. That ah, here we go. Vinny, one of Holly's moderators. So, yes, the time has arrived. We are now best. No, ultra friends. My bad. We are now going to be ultra friends. And there you go right there. So, we're going to leave this screen. And any second now. Bam. There we go. Best friends with my, my boy Andy right here. And then, come on, show it. Bam! Ultra friends with Vinny. So, yes, there you go with that. Now, I need to hit Vinny up on Twitter and let him know to put on a lucky egg before it's too late. So, and Pikachu's are still spawning up like crazy, mostly because it's raining over here. It's been raining all week. So, yeah, there you go with that. So, that's basically everything that's going on right now in, in the upcoming days, really this weekend in the month of November. Also, next weekend is Community Day. And of course, the feature Pokemon is indeed Cyndaquil. We will know what the feature move will be sometime next week, within the next two days or so. But 
most of us expect it to be blast burn. So yeah, there you go with that. I'm gonna be in Dearborn once again for community today. More than likely, I'm mean, gonna start traveling all around the country for community today, and probably till next fall. So yeah, there you go with that. So with that said, y'all know who this is. This is for the new JKSB, aka New Steve Name Smith, saying peace out, y'all, and I'll see y'all next time. Yeah. The plus of the money. After you subscribe to the channel, make sure you click the bell icon so you never miss a new video or a live stream ever again. Thanks, guys. Living in a world where tomorrow's never promised. Last of a dime, breathe, red of fine, honest. Got me feeling like an onyx. My heart was getting hard till I looked to the sky. Say, I'ma leave it to God and embark on this path. Journey of a lifetime. Everybody rhyme, but not a lot of cosign. Defining minds, capability.